In um, Psalm 14, verse 1, David says, Only fools in their hearts say there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. So in, in this psalm, David isn't saying that atheists are fools, because many of them aren't. Um, they're very clever people often. But rather, he's speaking of evil men. He says they're corrupt in their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. Such people act that way because they believe in their heart that there is no God. So this is what makes them foolish. They will be judged one day for their actions. All of us will come before God on Judgment Day. And what David here is saying here is profound. If you deny God's existence, then all value systems are destroyed. Morality is destroyed. Equal rights are destroyed. The historian Tom Holland um, is not a, a traditional Christian by any means, yet he acknowledges that without Christianity, there's no such thing as human rights. In an interview with uh, Glenn Scrivener, he says, the idea that human rights hang in the, the ether waiting to be discovered is as theological as believing that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father. So the fact remains here that if we're not all created, then we're accidents. There's no design, there's no purpose. And if that's true, then none of us are created equal. We do not therefore possess any dignity or human rights. Th these are fictions. Uh, they're they're make-believe. Um, and if that's true, then what matters really is about power and the strong destroying or exploiting the weak in order to get ahead. The wolf preying on the sheep. And the 20th century is the story of totalitarian governments doing just that. Doing whatever they liked because they believed in their hearts that there was no God. And where did that leave us? It left us with millions upon millions of people dead. As David said, they are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. In times of crisis, like the one we're going through at the moment with COVID-19, um, all of us experience times of doubt, times of questioning. We ask the why questions, for which the, there just aren't any answers. In Mark 9, 24, the father of a sick boy says, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. And John Bunyan, the author of Pilgrim's Progress, and he's one of my favourite authors, he often struggled with doubt as well. He writes in his autobiography, Grace Abounding, to the chief of Sinesis. He says, for about the space of a month after, and a great storm came down upon me. All of my comfort was taken from me. Then darkness seized upon me, after which whole floods of blasphemies, both against God, Christ and the scriptures, were poured upon my spirit to a great confusion and astonishment. These blasphemous thoughts were such as stirred me up to question in me against the very being of God, against his only beloved son, as whether there were truth in God or Christ, or whether the holy scriptures were in not fact a fable or a cunning story than the holy and pure word of God. The tempter would also assault me with this. How can you tell that the Turks had as good scriptures to prove their Muhammad as saviour as we have to prove Jesus is? And could I think that so many tens of thousands and so many countries and kingdoms would be without knowledge of the right way to heaven, if there is indeed a heaven, and that we only who live in a corner of the earth should alone be blessed therein? Every one doth think his own religion rightest, both the Jews and the Moors and the pagans. And how, if all of our faith in Christ and scriptures, should we but think uh, us thinking so too? So here we have John Bunyan just being raw and honest, and that's why I love him, just sharing about some of the doubts that are just coming into his mind and heart during this time. And Bunyan through that book, um, learns to lean into these times of testing, to become like a, a child in the father's arms. Isaiah 66, 13 says, God says, I will comfort you in Jerusalem as a mom mother comforts her child. Isaiah 40, 11, he will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother's sheep with their young. So friends, be willing to see yourself as a child who needs a mother's comfort. 
as a lamb that needs to be held by the shepherd. Sometimes that is really what is needed, that we learn to trust God, that he will care for us. In these times when our minds are filled with doubts, with trials, with tribulation. But Jesus tells us in Mark 10, 15, I tell you the truth. Anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. So friends, choose today to cast yourself as a child into the father's arms. You might not understand. You might have all these doubts and worries, but lean into God. Trust him that he will lead you as a father who leads his child.